ICT NCERT presents audiobook Mathematics for Economics. Page 27. Module 6. System of Linear Equations. 6.1. Solving for a System of Linear Equations. Figure 15. Solving for System of Linear Equations. Two linear equations in two variables is an example of a system of linear equations. For example, x plus y is equal to 0 and x plus 3y is equal to 2 is a system of linear equations in two variables. Ordered pair of values of x and y that satisfies both the equations at the same time are known as solutions to this system. For example, the system x plus y is equal to 0 and x plus 3y is equal to 2 is solved when x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 1. Since minus 1 comma 1 is a common solution of both the equations. If you plot these two equations as two lines in a two-dimensional graph, using the method discussed, then you will find that the two lines intersect at point minus 1, comma 1. This is the only point that lies on both the lines and thus satisfies both equations simultaneously, as we can understand from the figure 15. A system of equations may not have a solution. Moreover, when it does have a solution, then it may not be unique. The system x plus 3y equals 2 and x plus 3y equals 5, for example, has no solution. Since, when x plus 3y equals 2, then it cannot possibly be equal to 5. These two lines have equal slope, but different intercepts are parallel to each other and therefore will never meet or intersect at any common point. On the other hand, the system x plus 3y equals 2 and 2x plus 6y equals 4 has infinitely many solutions, such as any solution of first equation also satisfies the second since the two equations are multiples of each other. Page 28 If you plot these two equations as lines, then you would find that there is only one line which means that these equations are in fact one and the same. We know that there are infinitely many solutions of a single equation in two variables, that is, all the points on the line. A system of linear equations in two variables can be solved through a simple method of substitution. In this method, we find the value of any one variable in terms of the other variable from any one equation and then substitute this value in the other equation. Let us see it through an example. Consider the system x plus y equals 0 and x plus 3y equals 2. From the first equation, we get that x is equal to minus y. That is, the value of variable x in terms of variable y. Now, if we replace x by minus y in the second equation, then we get y plus 3y equals 2 is greater than y plus 1. If we put this value of y in the first equation, then we get x equals minus 1. We would get the same value of x if we put y minus 1 in the second equation. Therefore, the solution is minus 1, comma 1. Another method of solving a system of equations is called method of elimination. For example, if we have a system of equations 3x plus 5y is equal to 3 and 2x plus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. If we bring constants on right sides of both equations and write them one below the other, then they appear as follows. 3x plus 5y is equal to 3, 2x plus 3y is equal to 2. Multiplying first equation by 2 
and second equation by minus 3, we make the coefficients of x variable in the two equations equal and opposite to each other. The two equations now become 6x plus 10y is equal to 6 minus 6x minus 9y is equal to minus 6. From this, we get y is equal to 0. If we now add the two equations term by term, that is x term of one equation with the x term of another, y term of one with the y term of another, and constant term of one with the constant term of another, then the x variable gets eliminated or removed from the resulting sum, which is y is equal to 0. Having found value of y, we can find the value of x is equal to 1 by putting y is equal to 0 in either equation. We could have instead eliminated y by multiplying first equation by 3 and second by minus 5 and then adding the 2 to get x is equal to 1 as follows. 9x plus 15y is equal to 9. Now, if we add to this, minus 10x minus 15y is equal to minus 10, we get minus x is equal to minus 1. Therefore, the solution is 1, 0. Page 29. 6.2 Economic application of a system of linear equations One important application of solving a system of linear equations in two variables in economics is when we solve for the market equilibrium point which occurs at the intersection of a linear demand curve and a linear supply curve. In economics, we often come across equations which are called identities. For example, what a person saves from her income is always equal to the income minus the consumption from that income. If we denote income by Y, consumption by C and savings by S, then left side of the equation S represents Y minus C is always identical to the right side making this equation an identity. In such equation, the equality sign of two bars is replaced by a stronger sign of three bars. Test your understanding. Refer back to test your understanding question in module 5. Since the doctor has advised Kabir to consume only milk, he goes to Ryan to purchase milk. Kabir's quantity demanded for milk is given by Q raised to the power D, which is equal to 300 minus 10P, where Q raised to the power D is quantity demanded by Kabir and P is the price of milk. Ryan's quantity supplied for milk is given by Q raised to the power S, which is equal to 200 plus 10P, where Q raised to the power S is quantity supplied and P is the price of milk. Find the quantity of milk and price at which Kabir's willingness to buy milk is equal to Ryan's willingness to sell. The answer to this question is 250 units of milk at rupees 5. 6.3 Inequality conditions in expressions If the right and left hand sides of any expression are related through sign of relations other than equality, then the expression is known as inequality. Examples are x is greater than or equal to 3, minus x is less than 2, 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 0. Inequalities can have any of the four possible signs greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than less than, relating the right and left side expressions. There are certain rules which apply to inequalities. 1. If we add or subtract identical term on the two sides of any inequality, then the sign of the inequality does not change. 2. If we multiply 
or divide both the sides by a positive number, then also the sign of the inequality does not change. 3. If, however, we multiply or divide both the sides by a negative number, then the sign of the inequality gets reversed, that is, changes from greater than to less than or vice versa. For example, suppose we multiply both sides of 4 is greater than or equal to 3 inequality by minus 1 but do not change the sign of inequality to less than or equal to, then it would imply minus 4 is greater than or equal to minus 3, which cannot be true. Page 30 The solutions of an inequality in one variable are the real numbers which satisfy that inequality. Consider the inequality x is greater than or equal to 3. All real numbers, those are either equal to or greater than 3, satisfy it. It means that the expressions 3 is greater than or equal to 3 and 4 is greater than or equal to 3 are both true. There may not be any real solution to an inequality in one variable. For example, x raised to the power 2 less than or equal to 0 has no real number as its solutions since squares of real numbers are always greater than or equal to 0. One more inequality of interest in economics is the linear inequality in two variables. It always has infinitely many solutions. Each solution is a point in the two-dimensional plane. Figure 16 Graphing inequality on a two-dimensional plane. In this graph, we have two axes, x and y. Both the axes have been divided into 10 parts, with figures running from minus 5 to 5. We know that a linear equality in two variables forms a straight line in two-dimensional plane. For example, 3x plus 4y is equal to 0 is a straight line passing through O, which is 0, 0, and A, which is 4, minus 3, as we can understand from the figure 16. Take any point above the line, for example, B, which is 4, minus 2. For any such point, you can check that the value of expression 3x plus 4y is always positive. Now, take any point below the line, for example, C, which is 4, minus 4. For any such point, you can check that the value of expression 3x plus 4y is always negative. It means that 1. The inequality 3x plus 4y, which is greater than 0, is satisfied by all the points above the line. 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. 2. The inequality 3x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 0 is satisfied by all the points on and above the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. Page 31. 3. The inequality 3x plus 4y is less than 0 is satisfied by all the points below the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. 4. The inequality 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 0 is satisfied by all the points on and below the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. We can write following general results about solutions of linear inequalities in two variables. 1. The solutions of inequality of the form ax plus by is greater than or equal to c are all points on as well as above the line ax plus by is equal to c. 2. The solutions of inequality of the form ax plus by is greater than c are all points above the line ax plus by is equal to c. 3. The solutions of inequality of the form ax plus by is less than equal to c are all points on as well as below the line 
ax plus by is equal to c. 4. The solutions of an equality of the form ax plus by is less than c are all points below the line ax plus by is equal to c. 6.4. Economic applications of inequality condition in expressions. Any inequality represents nothing but a bound or a constraint on the value of the expression. It could be either an upper or a lower bound. For example, in the inequality 3x plus 4y is less than equal to 0, value of 3x plus 4y cannot be above 0. In economics, the most important inequality is known as the budget set of a consumer. If a consumer with given budget of rupees M consumes only two goods X and Y available at per unit prices of rupees PX and PY respectively, then her budget constraint is given by the inequality XPX plus YPY is less than equal to M. In this inequality, the left side is the expenditure on the goods and the right side is the consumer's budget. Since expenditure has to be less than or equal to the budget, therefore the budget puts a constraint or an upper bound on the expenditure. The solution set of this inequality are all pair of the two goods for which expenditure is either less or equal to the budget. These pairs of goods are all the points lying on and below the line XPX plus YPY equals M. Refer back to the example of Raju in section 3.2 of module 3. The price of chocolates is rupees 10 per unit and the price of ice cream is rupees 5 per unit. Income of Raju is given to be rupees 50. What will be his budget constraint? The budget constraint of Raju can be represented as 2x1 plus x2 less than equal to 10. Test your understanding. Refer back to test your understanding question in module 3. Write the budget constraint of Kabir. Also, make the budget set of Kabir. Module 6 ends here. Happy listening. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India